everybody, this is Doug coming to you for a BMW MOA Motorcycle Test Kitchen Product Review. Today's product we're going to talk about is the Stival Nautilus Air Horn. This sucker has come in handy for me over the years. You get folks pulling out in front of you out in traffic, you need to get their attention. This sucker is going to do the job for you. A little background real quick. I already have the Hex Easy Can system installed on my motorcycle. This is the second air horn I've gone through. Um, I'm gonna give you a little background of what went wrong with the first one. Some operator error on the install on that. I'm gonna give you some tips to avoid that happening to you when you install yours. Um, the wiring is already pre-run um, from my, my prior installation. It does have the Denali mount for the air horn. Now Denali also sells the sound, the sound bomb uh, horn Comparable products, this one is a little bit cheaper for me. It's coming from a distributor here in the Tampa area, so I was able to drive over and pick it up, save about 10 bucks on shipping. That's why I went on this one. I was satisfied with the first one I used. And again, we'll go into the details on what went wrong with the first one I had. Stay tuned, a little bit more coming your way. So what comes in the package? You, you get the air horn. It does have a wiring connector here. Um, this is for when you run the wiring. Um, it's got a couple pieces here. The main two pieces that you're gonna have to worry about is the nut and bolt here. If you already have the Denali mounting bracket, I'm gonna flip it over here real quick. And you can see what will happen is with the mount, the square headed nut slides up in here. The bracket comes down and then you sc screw this nut on. I highly recommend that you put a lock washer on here and then also run some type of safety wire through here and wrap that around the mount. What happened to mine on the first go around, I did not do that. I was driving down the road doing about three to five miles an hour, went to make a turn and realized I could not turn the handlebars. This had fallen off the mount because I didn't have it tightened down with a with a lock washer on there. Went down between the forks and it prevented me from turning. Uh, luckily I was going slow, no traffic, didn't crash, but boy did I learn my lesson. Um, once I was able to peel it out, the horn no longer worked. Therefore we're on horn number two. Okay, so I've gone and taken some uh, picture frame wire and I've looped it through that back hole a couple times got it just long enough that it's gonna easily reach over that mount I've gotten the lock washer and this is really all that you need to install if you already have that mount up in there So this is the Denali mount. Again, this was already installed from the last horn I had on. When Denali ships it to you, they're gonna send you a replacement bolt um, to run through here. Here's your mount. What you end up doing is when you install the actual horn, this is the hole you're going to be aiming for. And then I'm gonna wrap that wire up around the top of this bracket to make sure if this ever comes loose again, it doesn't fall down between the forks and block that free travel. When you install this, you also wanna make sure that you have it properly aligned between the forks left to right. Make sure you don't have it leaning one way or the other. Okay, so we have the horn mounted now up to the bracket. We've got the wire secured over the top of the mount. What you want to make sure is that you have free travel with the forks to go around it. So the last thing you want is that horn impeding the movement of your forks. One other thing that um, Denali shipped when I got the bracket, there is a uh, protective covering that goes over the uh, lines coming down here with a couple zip ties that will protect it from any rubbing vibrations from wearing through. So again, make sure that you have good unobstructed travel on your front fork.
All right, so we have that install complete now of the new Stiebel Nautilus air horn. A little bit quicker because I had already done a lot of the pre-work before from the first install that I did. I think you'll find it a relatively easy process end-to-end -end when you install the Hex Easy Cam. You get the wiring done, install the mount along with the horn. You're probably looking at about an hour and a half. I would call that probably a two-beer installation. I think you're going to have a good time and really enjoy the product. We're going to go ahead and test it. You may want to turn your sound down. Again, I warned you, this thing is going to get people's attention. Here we go, fire in the hole. <laughs> 